Hey everybody, the Bond guest back. Welcome to part 19 of Let's Play Neo 2. Alright, we're gonna try this again, and this time I did make a slight change to my equipment loadout. Hang on. Actually, this is a better white bone spirit tougher than I have now. This one's level 23. Oh, but it has extra break, and I do like break. Break does not carry over from this Tafa to the others. Mid Life Drain Mid Attack might be pretty decent. Low Attack Break is nice too. I feel like I'm better off just trying to uh, Soul Match with these. Rather than just give up a whole weapon altogether. Now I did switch from this Plated Hit... Played a headband I had before to a different one out of a higher level. And I swapped out to the merchant's robes for more defense. Merchant robes tend to have like a pretty good set too. Where for two pieces you get more gold earned. Three pieces more Amrita earned. Four pieces for key recovery speed. And five pieces. Um, what does it say there? Auto life recovery. As long as you absorb Emrita. That is really awesome. Could be really good in like at a skirmish level. But against a boss. Doesn't seem that efficient. And I think that lightning Amamori charm. Is going to make the difference too. Now I just got to remember what path I take. Yep it is this way. So I'm better off just going. Okay. This is a range attack. And you can sidestep that. That's good. Whoa! Lightning rain. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Oh, he's got a grab. <laughs> God, I can't really get a chance to understand his combos because he messes me up immediately. Now I do have Sloth. Problem is, do I have enough time to cast it at him? Because if I'm going to use Sloth, I pretty much have to cast it as soon as the fight starts. Like so. Okay, at least it worked. Oh, okay, he does resist paralysis. That's good to know, I guess. Just watch out for the lightning rain. Okay, now he's switching to the spear. Oh, he got up right away. Okay, I think I have this fight a little under control. Now he's back to the twin swords. Oh! He countered it. If only I could get close enough to use that move. Oh! I don't have my uh, yokai attack ready. Honestly, this is not going too bad. I should not have done that. But that attack does so little damage. He has a nice lot of health, though. Oh, 
Whoa, we had a jump move. Oh. So don't try to hit him when he's blocking. Got it. He can pretty much do that on a whim. That's the problem. So while I can do the first counter, the problem is, he gets a hit on me then. I think I got him. Now I got him. Beautiful. Only took, what, three tries? Okay, he was an easy boss compared to the others. Oh. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, what do you want, bruh? Huh? Huh? What do you say, huh? Wanna play some games? I know you like that. に入れた当主の座は幻か。すぐ Hey, we're wearing matching sets. Sugezo Hidenoji Yoshimoto Tenoa, Tokaido, it's no home on under Chikoruga. Your man no gunzega nigger. Mamushino, a milk of it, or you are called it. Well, this definitely will not become a snowball effect at all. <laughs> Roku Gezo, that's the elephant. Nice. An electrifying triumph. Meanwhile, at Owari Province in Kiyosu Castle. Well, is your lucky day there, uh, Toki? Huh. Oh, you have no idea. Oh, 
Nine-tailed fox. Yeah, that looks familiar. Was that L Lady Yodogimi? I think it was. Because she had a nine-tailed fox. Or at least that might be her mother. It seems like Lord Nobunaga might even make a samurai for the feat of slaying Yoshimoto. It just goes to show, even without the right social standing or lineage, if you're bold enough to get out there and prove yourself, you can really go places. I'm warming to this Nobunaga guy more and more. And that gorgeous younger sister of his, Lady Oichi? Oh, Oichi is her name. I could have sworn she made my heart skip a beat or two. We better do what we can to keep them both impressed. Oh, I got the rare item collector title. While the missions have changed. Wait, hold on. I think I missed the uh, hot spring here. Yeah, zero of one. Eh, I'll go look for it later. I'm in no rush to get them all on the first try. I think this is the first level again. But as a Twilight mission. Hold on, we got new dojo missions? Ah! Apparently that new guardian spirit we got was actually a phantom. I'll have to get used to that. Anyway, Brute is probably my favorite because its burst counter is at close quarters. Feral allows you to move in a direction to cause a counter. But it's very tricky to get it to hit. Not sure about phantom though. I might try that some other time. Oh, move to another hut. Nice. Let's try the Samurai's Hut. I think this one might look a little bit nicer. Oh, why do I get a smaller elephant? You should want to a big ass one. Alright, so our next main mission is the mysterious One Night Castle. We also have a sub mission at level 25 Hiditatsu's Dying Wish. We can go to an Error and Calculation level 27. Or we can go to Ima Imagawa Die Hard at level 23. Well, first thing I want to do is go to the Shrine, because I can level up again. I should get another point in skill, maybe? You know, we are still using like a light armor build, so more skill would be better for us. We're at level 43, that's ridiculous. I'm, a, I'm only just doing the levels normally, and somehow you shoot up really high in level so quickly. Okay, this is what I like, so I'm going to stick with that for now. I can learn new skills, so I'll take another point in Samurai and put it to good use. Grant certain active skills a damage bonus based on your magic. That's good and all, but how will I know what certain active skills are you going to use? Hold on, skill customization. Does it show up here? Oh, wait a minute. Sword key? I guess I can assign it to something. Okay, hold on. Damage boost magic. Oh, that's what it is. You can assign it something right here. Like if I use sword key, I can make it get more power based on magic. But I think key consumption rate can go higher if you apply the buff. Well, 
Well, I might as well give it Masterful Slice so I can do even more key damage. That's interesting. I didn't even know that. So if I go with Shove... It staggers, so it might as well go with the, uh... Maybe we'll go with Deliberate Slice. And Crimson Lotus, I'll give it Masterful Slice. For that one, I'll give it a boost based on magic. Good thing I am increasing my magic a little bit. I'll, I'll do that later. It's a lot of work. I don't want to like, bore you guys to tears watching me do this. Let's go with ninjutsu. Alright, instead of doing any of these missions, why don't we actually try our first Twilight mission? But before we do, let me go back to the blacksmith. Oh yeah, I, I forgot that when I was fighting those Nurayonas, they dropped a, um... What was it? They dropped something for a smithing text, and it's for a weapon. I just wonder what that weapon is. Blood Spider Blade, that's the one. And it's a yokai weapon as well. <coughs> oh, you need a Poison Pearl to craft this one, and you don't have one. Well, that sucks. I have enough Enki Pelts for another Righteous Jasper, and I didn't even use the others. Look at all the Umbersite Fragments we have. Might as well just make some. I want to make nine. Because now we can go and temper a weapon. Actually, you know what? I'm going to soul match. Because I remember I was going to do that for my Tonfa. Actually, you know what? I forgot that I actually have... Exotic versions of these. Maybe I should go with this level 32 one. I mean, I'll be giving up points and break, but maybe I can get it from a tempering. I probably would have done more damage to Yoshimoto if I just used that instead. Yeah, that's the one, level 32. There we go, now we're cooking with gas. So you don't need to soul match that weapon anymore. I can't however soul match my armor. It's level 26. But I'm gonna give up that Sohaya mask, because I'm not wearing any heavy armor. Or, you know, me medium armor for a while. Maybe I'm just better off doing this one. There, now we can up its level a few times. If there's, like, a large difference between, like, my current level and my highest level of that armor, I'm doing it. There we go. 22 to 29 is a big leap. 24 to 29 is kind of big, too. Good thing I have lots of money for it. There we go. I think we're good now. Oh, wait a minute. You mean to tell me I can give up my Umbersight to make this go from 7 to 8 for block? Yeah, why wouldn't I do this? Active skill key damage. I mean, that's cool, I guess. I can take off block and put on strong attack break. I think that would be better. Better yet, quick attack break. I use more quick attacks. 
Cactus skill key damage? Affects how much damage your weapon inflicts. Oh, there it is. Increases key damage caused by active skills. Alright, I think this is good with what I have. Yep, this is what I want. Now I should make some offerings. Sorted by rarity. There we go. I don't need any of these. Get the hell out of here. They would just be holding me back. All right, that's good for the time being. We don't want to go too overboard. Yeah, these change like by day. So we might as well do this one while we still have it. With a sudden gust of the wind, the sky turns an ominous shade of red and a blood-curdling otherworldly cry shook the earth. As the echo subsided, a malevolent aura fell upon the land. You'll get the description or intro for every Twilight mission, by the way. So it looks like this is just a repeat of the first level, but it's going to be a little bit harder. They're just going to have like new enemy placements. And you know, you got to be prepared for that. But I mean, we've already done this level before normally. Therefore, I think it should be okay. Seeing as how we're armed with like new stuff. See, now there's a big Gaki here. Normally it was a small one. Whoa! Also a small one. So there's a big and a small. Hi. I anticipated that third attack. There. I wonder if that Gozuki is still there. Oh, look, there it is. Oh. This is different. The Gozuki is actually in a dark realm. Can you miss any more? Ah, oh, still tracks. Ooh, forgot about that attack. It looks like we have to fight this thing now. Ooh, that was close. Come on, come at me, bruh. You're too slow. Oh, ow. Still got me by the horse. Oh, this thing still has a lot of health. Oh, that was close. Man, high break. Really helping. So did that. Still not dead? Are you kidding me? Oh, it did another dash? Okay, this soon has to be it. There, got Gozuki Cutter. And the Village Cemetery Key. Nice! When was the first time I grabbed that key? Oh! It just opens up that way. 
Kind of thing of it. You don't even need to do that. Ah. So that's an optional thing you can do. Alright, well, I did it, so <laughs> there you go. I like them apples. Still kind of got messed up, you know, not only just getting hit, but having to use up both my sloth talismans. Hold on, where's that thing in ninjutsu that I could have grabbed? Oh, right, I, I can't get it yet because I need to clear another mission. Um, do I want... Uh, let's see, poison shuriken? No. Catwalking. I could use that. That's just another detour through the stage. Well, it works. I don't want to miss too much loot, though. So I'll grab whatever I need. Just in case I miss something good. Especially more ammo. I think that's the way I would normally take. No way, that's the door I opened. Duh. Hold on, what was the other way I could have go to pass that guy? Just make sure I grab whatever I can. Well, that opens up the way from the first shrine. So this mission may not be very long, considering we've seen this before. Oh, maybe we should not fight on the bridge. Where are you going? No! No! Oh, really? He had to feed the knee. Yeah, he still takes a wall to recharge. I don't think it's taking longer just because it's a Twilight Realm, but still. Feels like it's still taking a while, even with this high courage stat. Oh, so we just saw Anki over there, I think. There it is. Hey, notice me. Come on, come on. Ow! Seriously, even this big guy still does over close to 50% of my health in a single strike. No wonder I burned through elixirs. Oh, that had to be with the bomber. Couldn't just be the rocks, huh? Really? I missed? Oh, wait a minute, I was supposed to use the regular arrows. Shit. Wasted one. Where's big boy going? Hey! Come back! Why not? Take down your little brother. Oh, that's right! I have to take on the Mizuki again as the boss! That's gonna be a good time. I hate that when I do certain yokai moves, I'm still vulnerable. 
Believe it or not, using Yokai moves actually leaves you more vulnerable. You pretty much have to use them after the enemy finishes the attack. Or you're in trouble. Oh. Really? Couldn't just let me go to that chest? Which I know is a Mujina. And I can tell just by looking at the chest itself. You see there's like three notches there on the front? And I actually watched a streamer do this. That when she would play Neo and found those chests, she would actually just go and whistle, and it calls the Mujina. Bring it on. Hey, you don't even have to finish the gesture either. So you didn't even have to open the box doing that. Okay, I kind of don't want to fight you in this house. This is supposed to be a safe space. And it's not safe when you're being all rambunctious like that. Wow! That's the first time I did that move. I just held L1 and square. It put in some work. Why, well, you gonna do something or what? No, let's do that. Damn! That's good for when an enemy is stunned. <laughs> Just puts in some heavy hits. Fearless Kotaro. Didn't seem all that fearless. Died. Just died there like a little bitch. Oh great, only these. Oh my god! I hate these guys! They get up in your grill and they just keep you stunned! Infernal Oni B Soul Core. Also, there's different Soul Cores for each element? That's pretty cool. That'd be good if you want to use like a specific element on them. Go up higher. But I guess I don't. Oh, I knocked him down. Kinda didn't want to do that. Surprise! in my blind spot, of course. Would do that. I'm busy, alright? Back off. Thank you. Good lord. Should be pretty close to the shrine that actually had the, um... Is this the shrine? That's probably not the shrine I need to take to get back to... Where I saw that original Dark World. Well, whatever the case. We got this ready. Oh, I see an icon on the lower left that's fire. Okay, that's pretty cool. It just tells you what it is. I like that. What well, we got the bazaar? Oh, we still got these. These are just like regular items. That's not bad, I guess. Now my Kadama blessing here is limited because the Twilight Realm has its own set. If I like clear more stages and get the Kadamas in their original levels. They'll carry over to the Twilight Realm. 
So I technically don't have a blessing for the Twilight Realm at all. So let's go get that one. All right, let me stop here. And in the next part, we're going to try to finish this stage. This may not even take very long, actually. See you, everyone. Thanks for watching.